Baptist Health is the first in the state to offer a new robotic treatment for men experiencing an enlarged prostate. Suzanne Bruner has more on aquablation therapy and how one man benefited from the treatment. It was probably several years. 64-year-old Steve Uranowich has tried medication and the Urolift procedure to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, but says his prostate kept enlarging. It wasn't until he learned about aquablation therapy. It was amazing to me that they could take out 70% uh, of, the, of the prostate and there not be any kind of side effects at all. Baptist Health, along with Arkansas Urology, are now using this new minimally invasive surgical tool that aims to lower urinary tract symptoms in men. Dr. Tim Langford is impressed with aquaplation therapy and the positive outcomes. We can make a surgical map of the prostate. We can determine uh, very precisely what part of the tissue, what part of the prostate we want to destroy or open up, and which part we don't want to destroy. Steve got the procedure last year. Oh, it was it was wonderful. Smooth operation. Uh, did never have any pain. Haven't had any pain since the operation, and uh, the results are excellent. 50% of men ages 51 to 60 have BPH. Dr. Langford says it's purely genetic. If left untreated, BPH could cause irreversible damage to the bladder, kidney, or cause urinary incontinence. Always having to know where a bathroom is, loss of sleep, it can affect their sex lives. It can affect their relationships. Clinical study shows aquablation therapy is proven to significantly reduce the chances of sexual dysfunction and incontinence. And anyone that, that uh, has an enlarged prostate knows what I'm talking about when I say it, it helps your daily situation. Aquablation offers long-term relief with low rates of irreversible complications. In Little Rock, I'm Suzanne Bruner. And to learn more about aquablation, you can find this story on our website, fox16.com.